Hi guys, good to have you all back. Yesterday's video, I made this one. Yes, seven pockets from three envelopes. Can you believe it? Um, and I asked you guys, shall I make sort of cards, tags, journal cards uh, to go in here? So seven of them. And almost all of you said, yes, please. Well, none of you said no. So I take it, you would like it. So I am going to make small cards. Yes, and a big one to fill this up. In the same sort of style because you know they need to match so um that's the project for today let me show you um the inspiration for this and the supplies that i'm using the inspiration i took out these lovely sort of vintage ephemera pieces all sorts and i just i just really like them now these are way too big to put in here because small pockets but i want to sort of recreate those yeah, I don't even know what they're for. This is in German. This is like a bill for the energy company from 1968. Yes. Great, right? Uh, a paycheck sort of envelope thingy and some uh, postcards. Not with the lovely sort of uh, images on them, but that you can write something on. Yeah. Lovely ones. Look at look at this. I just I just love this. Um, something like this, yes, with a big tap on it. I don't know. These sort of items. So I'm not. I I don't think I can recreate them the exact same sort of style, but inspiration nonetheless. Yes, also these small small slot thingies. I'm hoping I can do this. So that's the inspiration. Now for the supplies. Uh, I am using, this is an ivory, a uh, piece of ivory, sort of heavy paper. This is, I believe, 160 grams. You can also use like file folder or anything. I just didn't want to use white cardstock or like the craft color. Just a little bit lighter. So I'm using this. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do lots of stamping using the same colors as yesterday the red the blue and the black from first of mine it's tulip red bluebell and nocturno yeah my favorite ones in these colors well for stamping not for distressing as you can see there are a lot of sort of lines on here yes i have just one stamp that makes lines well two but i have a ruler and i have those so let's see how far we'll get as for the stamps um i'm using the same one as yesterday of course the correspondence one yeah also took out um eccentric because my absolute favorite the two uh kathy holden ones with the signatures and the dates yeah linking everything below guys these are from spellbinders um just in case the sample is sample is dates from the past and I took out this one from Elizabeth Craft Designs, the ticket CS292. Yes, because um, some lines on here. I think I might like this. And, you know, and I see Tony use them all the time. So I need to use them. That's for the stamps. Um, also going to be doing some bits and bobs, which means um, the airmail labels and the poster stamps probably going to use some of the washi tapes that i used yesterday now i want to make tabs on them yes yeah, so that you can pull them out i have a couple of different tabs sort of things on my desk one of which is this yes i got this in happy mail from a lovely subscriber thank you so much sweetheart my name is erica um i could not make this myself you need a sewing machine yeah or hand stitch it and that's that's a bigger problem but i also have these these are sort of paper clip thingies with logos from companies on them yeah i have a gazillion so you know, so why not use them so maybe this or i'm going to punch some um paper tabs and i also have like some sort of tabs in stock hole reinforcers lots of hole reinforcers uh, i'm going to be using um what else my tools yeah probably a stapler i'm going to use this one to make the slots yes from ek tools it's like a slot maker what else glue probably glue of course um yeah hardware hardware brads eyelets stuff don't know exactly but i might corner rounder as usual yeah 
I am going to do some inking, but very light inking. I don't know really what color I, I'm going to use, but you know, we'll find out. We'll find out later. Is that it? Oh, you know me. I'll probably take out some more bits and bobs. Let's get started. Now, guys, I can give you measurement for the cards, but it doesn't really work because you don't have this exact project on your desk, right? So what I just did, you know, was just mark it and then cut it out. So I already cut all the smaller pieces. Yeah, put them in here. Uh, make sure they sort of go in and out easily. Yeah, so they're not stuck on anything. You can have them stick out a little bit. Yes, also on the back. I have this one over here and these two small ones um, over here. I could also make a taller one. I don't know. I just want, don't want to cover this up because that looks lovely. Now, for the big one, I did already make a big one. But then I was like, why not make something like this with a big tab on the top? Yeah, so that is sort of the idea. So I'm going to do this on camera with you guys. Hopefully you have this tool or a uh, Wheel Memory Keeper um, envelope punch board. Yes, this punch. You can you can buy these separately, guys. Yeah, um, mine came with my um, small scoreboard that I bought a million years ago. Uh, but you can buy these separately from, I believe, from Fast and Creative. Um, if I can, I'll link that one below. Yeah. First off, we need measurements. I'm not measuring. I'm just sort of eyeballing. Needs to go in here. I want to make it a little bit smaller. I'm taking out a pencil. To leave some room on the edges. And that way um, it will slide in easier. And you will not, will not rip uh, the rest of the envelope. There you go. So just, you know, over here. Now, instead of cutting it to size on the bottom, I am not, not for, um, for the moment. I'm going to adjust it later. I want to sort of focus on the top one, on the top half, which is this one. Well, let's have a look. What you can do is sort of uh, trace it if you have, happen to have a, a shape like this. That would work nicely, but um, I'm just going to use this one and this one. Yeah. On this corner is just a rounded corner. I can do this. Yes, there you go. Then I'm going to take out my envelope uh, punch thingy with the notch. Yeah. So let's see how big. Well, this is going to be the card. I do not. I want to have it sort of over here, like a, a bigger one. Yeah. So I'm just going to put it sort of over there. See? Tada. Now I'm going to take my ruler. You could use uh, scissors for this, guys. And I'm just going to line this up. See this line here? Taking out a knife. That works best for me. You could draw it and then uh, cut it off. Now, hopefully this is straight. It looks straight. Tada! See this? I'm happy with it. I am happy with it. Perfect. Okay. This I want this to stick out, of course. So now I'm sort of eyeballing it where I want to cut it. Again, I am cutting it a little bit shorter. Over here. Now for this big card. Um, I'm going to also round the corners on the end and on the bottom. But with a smaller setting. Let's have these at seven. See, already looks nice. Let's let's test it. If it's too long, oh, we can cut a bit bit off. At the middle, yeah. Oh yeah, look at this. Yes, perfect. Yeah, I could also have done this with this one. Nice. Hmm. Already cut this to size, but I just decided I want to do this one in a similar in a similar way. Are we? Yes, we just are. I took out a piece of paper. Why not? Why not? Okay, so this is the size of the paper. I'm just going to do this. We need... It is a smaller piece. Um, rounded corner on this edge. Yeah. And then a notch over here. Yes. 
Uh, let's see. Taking this whole piece off. Yeah. Now, now I cut off the mark where I wanted to make it smaller. That's okay. No worries, love. We can measure this again. Yeah, this needs to stick out. Cut it here. Cut it here. No worries. There you go. There's one. Wasn't this big? Was it J big? Hmm. Looks big. Yeah, works. Okay. Rounding corners again. Of course we are. Perfect. I did this one on this side because I just like to, you know, alter alternate it a little bit between the two. Yeah. I'm going to I'm not going to put any of these on on these ones. I'm going to make um separate ones because I have ideas. I have ideas, you know. Okay. Perfect. Now, for decorating. Let's start with these two. For the stressing, I'm using antique linen. Antique linen it is. There you go. Yeah. Just, you know, on the edges. Shall we do some splatter stamping? I think so. But with the same color. I'm sorry guys, you keep hearing my stomach. <laughs> it's a little bit upset at the moment. Oh yeah, lovely. Now, I want to make all the seven cards. Normally, if I had the time, I would do um, the front and the back. Because of time reasons, I'm just only going to decorate uh, the front. But you know, you could also have the backs as sort of journal spots. Yeah, I think so. Splatter stamp. There you go, love. Missed you. Yes. Oh, it's just so cute. Just in case. Yes, uh, it's platter stamp. The original one, which is not this one. This is a fake one. I've had that for years. It's from the Tim Holtz stamp set, Tiny Toadstools. Yeah. There you go. Do we love it? We love it. Great. Okay, now. Needs a number here, needs a number here. Of course it does. Now for the sort of number stamping, I'm going to use mostly black, I think. Let's use black. I'm using this one from Eccentric, yeah? And this one from the correspondence set. Yep. Great, there's one. Could use something on it. Oh, let's do an eyelet or or something. Yeah, let's do an eyelet. And then this one goes here. Perfect. Eyelet? Sure. Sure, why not? We're here, so yeah. Doesn't have any other function than being cute. There you go. We could do black or um, red or blue. Yeah, I have these, so yeah, why not add a little color? Oh yes, fantastic. Let's just do this. Are the holes big enough? They are. Tada! Mini eyelet. Mini eyelet. <laughs> Let's do this one in red. Oh, I was so lucky, guys. 
all of these, almost all of these, I found in like uh, a jar in a in a thrift shop for like I don't know, one euro fifty cents. Yeah, that was a great find. There you go. Oh, already loving it. I want to decorate it because it's going to be in a pocket. Yeah, so I want to have something cute here. I've taken out this one and this one. Yeah, to go on sort of over here because that's what will show. Um, and maybe some of this. Yeah, I think so. Just this whole bit, yeah. Because it just looks really cool. It will not show up on the in the window but that's okay okay this here and here now i do want to make some of these sort of lines yeah i'm using um a blue fine liner for this i'm just going to put a line here because why not now hopefully this won't bleed yeah yes and then line here yeah making it up as we go guys there's no rhyme or reason why i'm doing this i'm i am making them a little bit wider because i want to stamp something in here of course of course you do of course you do and just the last one be creative if you don't have the stamps with the lines Use a ruler and, uh, you know, a marker. Why not? Okay. I want to have this one here. And then this one here. Yes. And I'm going to do some stamping here as well. Oh, I'm already sort of enjoying myself. Enjoying myself. Yeah, it just looks great. And the seven and a half stamp. I'm quickly checking, guys, if it will show up. Of course it will, but in the place that I really want to have it. Oh, yes, look, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yes. Some more numbers or words. Let's find some. I took out a couple of number stamps and the word reserved. I want to have reserved in red because, attention, this is reserved. Let's go on top here. There you go. It is reserved. Yes. I think I want to have the rest in. Well, no, this one also in red. Very sort of bold uh, font. So I'm going to do this one over here. Yeah. And then number 509 in the black. We'd have this down here. Oops. Tada. Does it need something? Of course it does. But what? Um. Needs this. What color? I'm gonna go blue. Blue. Because it says air letter. Par avion. Oh, perfect fit. Look at this. Love it. I've already put some lines on because that's boring. I have an idea, guys. I want to use her. <laughs> yes. So she's going to be sort of in the window, yeah? Over here. Yeah. And I'm just going to fill it up with um, stamps. 
before we stamp it, I think I'm going to have like a label sort of underneath here. And then with her signature, because her name is Witham. I don't know. There you go, over here. What else? Thinking this here. Yeah. Stay there, lovey. It's just, you know, a setup. Um, poster stamp. We need something blue. I'm going to have this um, underneath, sort of here. Not this one. Not this one. <clears throat> I want to have a bigger one in blue. No, not with a face. There's already a face on here. Well, that's going to be difficult because most of these are with faces, except for this one. That's not a, the right color blue, is it? No. Let's see. Something blue, no face, and it says USA. Well, this is a little bit <coughs> sort of younger <laughs> than I think the photo is, so... Yeah. This one then. This one. Found one. But then we need more blue. <coughs> I'm going to do some more blue stamping. Need something here. What are we going to put on there? Um, identification. Because it is an identification card stop. Yeah. Yes. Um, what else? Uh, there was something that says telephone number. Right? Oh yes, telephone number. Telephone number. Here, here. Telephone number. And um, factory number. Oh, maybe she works in a factory. Yeah. Okay. And I want a big round thing here on the bottom. Over there. And... Uh, And a little something. Yes. Yes. Great. Okay, guys, I'm going to save on time. I'm going to do the stamping uh, off camera. But, you know, I'm going to do it with the blue and the red and, um, and the black. Oh my gosh, she looks amazing. I just discovered this stamp from the correspondence with this. So, so cool. Yeah, so I added a little bit more. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I need hardware. <laughs> yes, I just I just now figured out. I want to have one here and one here. I'm going to put in a brad. Because it's just cool. Oh, I cannot... Well, you know. Then we take out this one. No worries. I'm just going to punch a hole here. It's not going to be an eyelet. It's going to be a brad, so... That is quite all right. Uh, let's do these. I'm not going to go for the colored ones, guys. No. He's doing this one. Oh, and this one. Yeah. It's like the coolest thing ever, right? Yes. I'm telling you guys, um, the stamp sets that, that I use all the time are so multifunctional you can make basically anything with them oh love them i'm going to put um, a piece of tape on otherwise if i put it in a pocket it will get stuck yeah so only done two i need five more i need five more let's do these small ones these two already cut them to size i think on these ones i want to do something like this with a uh, sort of punched holes in them um, they have rounded corners, so first, round corners, there you go, it's the exact same color, well, almost the exact same color. Yes, of course we cannot have all the text that is on here, on here, but we're gonna try. Now we need sort of a company name on the top. Company name on the top for this. I'm going to take out a pink sample because it has a couple of 
sort of company names on them. Like, oh, let's do um, Rue de la Chapelle, like a, an address. Let's see, on a smaller one. Yeah. I'm just gonna go on here. In blue. Or in French, en bleu. <laughs> Tap it lightly, love, because, you know, very juicy. Rue de la Chapelle. Yes, let's make some lines. Just a line here. All the way across, all the way across, why not? And then I'm gonna do this. One here. Apparently, one here. One here in between. I'm just making stuff up, guys. One here below. And then a smaller one here. Are we straight? Hopefully we are. Well, straight-ish. Straight-ish. Okay. Let's fill her up. Let's fill her up with some uh, numbers and stuff. I'm going to use this one again because I love this number. In red. Yes. What else? Small one. Yep. This says the rest of the I don't know. This says something. Yeah, I'm going to have this in black. We need a signature, it needs to be signed somewhere on the bottom, probably. Here. Again in the black. Oh, Mr. Edwards signed there. Yeah, and then this says, I don't even know, this says received and answered and what have you. Well, it almost said received, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm not angry. Pass. Something. These are... Oh, ooh, these are cool. Look. All sorts of numbers in a row. Yeah, that looks great. Let's do blue. Love numbers in blue. Numbers in red, they don't mean anything good. <laughs> I'd like to be in the blue and not in the red. A big sort of seal stamp thingy, a round one. Yeah, this one. Of course, uh, well, we're gonna do red. If you're clean enough, yeah. Love it. Let's make some holes. I forgot to ink and distress it. I did it. Yeah, like a little bit. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to punch some holes. Let's just see. Let's just punch some holes. I'm going to do one. Oh, I cannot go very far. Oh, that's a shame. I just can do this. And here. One over here. Oh, that's a shame. Well, there are some on here. Let's see. Yeah. That's, well, it is what it is. I wanted to have them all over. But there are some on here. 
it does look cool I'll try to sort of accentuate them with a little bit of ink if that is at all possible <laughs> love it needs a tap before i do uh, do the tap i'm going to do the other one first this is a little bit taller Next one, I did all the distressing, yes, and I put on just some lines, so I'm thinking, guaranteed to be strictly high grade, well, you know, is that a promise you can keep? I don't know, it's going to be in blue. Here we are, yes, I do want a stamp thingy here piece of paper a papery bit and let's see what we have sure Michiel that out there he was like a very famous person from 1607 till 1670 so he reached a, a nice age for that time um he was like an explorer a uh, sea captain, don't know, like Columbus, like Columbus. I don't know, I, I don't know my history, guys. I really don't. I really don't. This here and here. Yes, something underneath. Entered something. Or, okay, I'm gonna have this one in the. I'm gonna put this one in the corner. Yep. Yes. I'm gonna put this one over here. I'm just gonna glue it. A little bit of glue stick will do. Yeah, this one in in red. Or oh, why not? Cool. Yes, very cool. Can we put in numbers here? Or I don't think the stamps that I have are small enough however however guys yeah let's see because i have these vintage <laughs> rub-on thingies i'm just gonna put on one or two just one or two what are you gonna use just a pencil okay so i'm gonna have on a7 did it work yeah And an eight. Zero. <laughs> I'm just making it up. Yeah, I find these at thrift shops, guys. Yeah. Seven, eight, zero, four. I don't know. I just enjoy this. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, we need stuff here, of course. So for this, I'm going to take out something else. Um, a number. A number here and inspect it. And another signature. Yeah. Yes, the signature is in black. Just decided. Yes. The number is going to be in red. Oh, love this. Oh, um, there's the pretty stamp that I really like with the small lines. Oh, 
somewhere obviously somewhere that i can't reach it Ooh, more of these numbers no no uh what was the other one this one that says inspect it what color blue yeah i just like it a lot do you like it it's so cool in order for me to decide where to put the tabs i just put them in the pockets and i think i want to have something like this on here and i also have a black one and on the and on the second one or this one here and then this one here Yeah, I think that looks cool. So let's do the top one first. Yeah, I'm going to distress it with black soot. Are you going to stamp something on it? Or put an eyelet in? Oh, yes, I'm going to put an eyelet in. And I'm going to stamp something on it. Now, I could stamp something on here, but you know, it's black. could use my white, but I'm not, I'm not even going to bother with it. No. Um... That's the same stamp. Oh, it doesn't. Does it matter? Does it matter, love? Probably doesn't. And also, there's going to be an eyelet through there, so... You won't even sort of notice what it says. Okie dokie. First, going to glue it on. And of course, have it stick out a little bit. I was going to go here, right? Let's see. Oh yeah, that looks cool. Yes. Eyelet. Uh, what color? I'm thinking silver. Yeah, I'm going to do silver. Big one, small one, big one, big one. Let's see. I'm going to cut straight to the word that says pass. Now it says <laughs> I'm sorry, sometimes I'm really childish. It says ps. Okay. Very cool. Here's one. Pressed a little harder, love. Yeah. And now for the other one. Oh, I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'm going to have it right before here. No need for distressing because it's black. I didn't have another red one. No, I just had black and red. I need to punch more. Yep. Cool. Oh, already love it a bunch. Love it a bunch. I still have three to go. Let's see how much. Uh, let's see how much time I have, guys. Last three cards. I have 50 minutes. Let's get cracking. Okay. I just now remembered I have this. These are stickers for our Dutch post office. They're probably a little bit sort of vintagey. I don't know. I don't know. But this one says lots of them on it so we want it now i sort of been eyeballing where this would go this is the one in the bigger pocket yeah this one so i think i want to have it over there so i'm just see this dot here you probably don't see it but i see it so it's going to go here this is going to go here but uh it's a little bit too wide but it's glossy 
Okay, we're just gonna try it. There's probably a little bit of ink left on here. Does this work? It actually does. Oh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. Let's see if I can do a little bit on the edges. Well, it's not white anymore. For sure. Okay. I was going to go on like so. Um, yes. Straight. Yes. There you go. Done. No, it's not done. No, it's not done. I think I want to have this tab on here. Yeah. Mm, let's let's grunge it up a little bit because it is just red red. Needs a number on here as well. Yeah. Here. Let's put a number there. Just taking out a random stamp that hopefully has a number and it does in black there you go let go oh yeah this is gonna go on here yeah i'm just gonna glue it on straight away just in case i forget probably won't but you know there you go. Yes. So what else am I going to put on here? Let's see. I Again, I've lost a pretty stamp. No, this one. This one needs to go on the bottom. Yeah. I'm going to try to sort of line it up. Well, that didn't work, but there's something red on here, and that's what we want. Okie dokie, do we want to have some lines on here? Yeah. I'm again taking out the red. Are you? Red lines? Yeah. I need to flip it over, because I need to see where I put the next line. Last one, and then I'm doing this. Don't know why, just because, just because. Okay. Let's fill her up, let's fill her up. With what? Wow. One of these in the corner for sure. Yeah. Just in black. Yes. number here yeah signature signature whose we don't know oh that's the lady in the front um let's take out another signature yep Approved. Let's see some numbers. This one, I'm gonna do this in red. Also needs a little bit of red, of course, yeah. Some red over here. Oh, I did not use my stars anywhere. Well, we need stars. There you go. And last one, tech number. No. 
type slide. This is not a type slide, department something. Yeah. Cool? Cool. Last two, I want I really want to use these tabs on here. I am going to glue them on um, with my barely art glue. And I'm going to put um, a brad through it. Now these will be upside down. I really wanted to have this on the top. That's okay because now it looks like a W or a, an E on its side. It doesn't really matter. Lobbies. Now I'm going to put a brad on. Am I going to use this for it? No. No. I'm just going to punch a hole through it with my with my awl does that work hopefully it does it does oh and it looks amazing yeah it looks amazing love it love it love it Oh, this gives me an idea to make these myself. Yes, because I have this and I have n a letter or number stamps. Ooh, that sounds like a project. Yeah, they're going to be like so. Okay, well, tap is done. Now, so one of you guys asked me, can you please use the stamp with the aeroplane on it? Of course, love. If you want to have the stamp with the aeroplane, I'm going to put it on. Yeah. I'm going to do it in blue. Just because. There you go. Ta-da. Yes, I'm going to put on more. Of course I am. Of course I am. Um, I think I want one more of these. This is registered. Registered. Black, blue. Where's my black? Black's here. Registered. What else? Bit of this on the bottom. Sure. Yes. Some of these. Also, yes. And then a big number in red. this one and we need something here i'm gonna look for uh, a stamp that fits mm -hmm. something really small Ooh, will this fit yes it does it's gonna be in red or blue do you want to do one more blue no red red it is Tada! Cute, right? Yes, very cute. Cool. Last one. Last one. Already put on some lines. I'm gonna put on this stamp. Yes. And I just now realized I have not used um, any of the stamp set from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And I need to start using them because, you know. They are cute, and might I add, they were too expensive not to use. So let's do one of these up here. Yes, 
what color red these are in the netherlands these are always in red i, I know in other countries they might be blue but i'm going to do the red one anyway even though it says london on it so but hey there's a brat here very smart love but it did work it did work oh cool do we already like it of course we do What's el what else is on here that we can use? Well, a big number here. Something with a number. That looks really cool. Yep. Is this big enough? No. Um, black, blue, black. Yes, I love it. Oh, there's this small, there are these small ones here. Let's just try with some of these small ones. I do, do use them now and then, but not enough. Because they're not, um, with my normal stamps, I put all my Elizabeth Craft Design stuff separately. Maybe that's not smart. What else? There's something with another two. Maybe that's a little bit too much. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Sometimes, you know. 12 and a half cents. Okie doke. Now I want sort of a circular stamp or. Something like this. Apparently not this. Uh, let's do this one. Just in black. And one number here in red. Let's just see. Let us see. Yeah, something serial number. Let's see if we can put the serial number on top of the line and this underneath. We can. Tada, tada. Are we done? I need something there, but what? But what? Well, this. Black, black. Yep. I think it's done. Guys, I am going to tweak it a little bit. And then I'm going to show you the end result. This is the end result of actually two projects. Yes, we did the envelope flippy flappies yesterday. And then we filled it up today. I love it. I'm sorry, guys. I just love it. So it looks like so when everything uh, is in, yes, um, when I flipped it over, I did put something there because there was just blank space. Yeah, I tweaked it, guys. I, I added a little bit, something here and there. Okay, so we open this up. This is a flappy thingy. Yeah. Oh, we could also put something here. No, we're not going to. You're not going to see it. Um, yeah, I, added, I probably added these because I love these. And then a piece of the tape. This is from Elizabeth Craft Designs. Yeah, I love that one. I have two sets. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool, right? Yeah, it's really, really cool. I like it. Then we have two more cards here with the tabs. They stick out. I made this one with all the sort of holes in them. Oh, it, I'm really sad that I could not sort of punch holes. Well, it had a smaller opening. But I really like it. Yes, let's put this one back. And then the other one. Tada! Yes, with a signature on it. It's just, I don't know. It's just cool. Don't ask me what to use it for, guys. You're going to use it for looking at and finding it really, really cool that you made some 
and it is pretty <laughs> it will not fit in in a journal unless you have a very big journal i would send it out as happy mail just you know and then this big one oh isn't she lovely yes i added a couple more things i this one this i added this this cameras something uh i thought it very fitting to put on um on the photograph and probably added this and maybe don't know but cool but cool you go back lobby there you go oh. and then on the back we have this one this is a flappy yes we can flip this up we could also make a tab here but i didn't uh yeah i put an eyelet in here because there was a hole there was a hole already there so i just put the eyelet in and and um uh, this from the same washi tape i just really liked it put a stamp here it's on the sort of plasticky stuff so it's not really dry yet but i do like it this is just in in red and black there you go did i put it in no you didn't you put it under there we go yes so we flipped this up still pretty yeah we made this yesterday then i have these two how cute yeah with the with the sort of fabric tabs thingies i added this and this yeah did i yeah and here i did not even maybe i don't even know if i added something but i love them i love them a bunch yes fantastic fantastic guys i hope you liked it it's a two-parter yeah basically a two-parter Okay, I'll be back again uh, tomorrow with another video uh, for Gunter. Yes, it's going to be for Gunter. But you, you guys are screaming, please do more for Gunter. Yes, I know, I'm going to do more for Gunter. So I'll be back again tomorrow. All the items that I have used in the uh, past two uh, projects, I am linking below. Yes, so, and if you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you for hanging out with me today, guys. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. Until then, bye.